so wonderful people I just make, made an amazing video I feel pumped up today's a great day today's Sunday I just came from my morning routine and the magic of a morning routine is so powerful it's so huge it's magnificent I know I'm not joking I'm serious here right now <laughs> no really it's it's so strong it makes me feel so inspired and because I take the responsibility and take action to create a great day for myself. How many of you doing that? Be honest with yourself. Are you taking the responsibility to create a great day in the beginning of your day? Because it really matters how you start your day. It really does matter. I tried many, now since I started morning routine since six years, I tried to do it with morning routine without morning routine, then morning routine again, no morning routine again, and I always felt a huge difference. And just recently, it happened to me again that I stopped doing my morning routine, and I think that was a powerful lesson. You know, I'm here in this, in, in, in this great job where I learn a lot of, about personal growth, about, pis, bis, pis, <laughs> about business, and my, my mentor is my boss, or my boss is my mentor, and I learned so much, and it can happen very fast. I work now from home. And it happened to me that I woke up every morning and I just immediately went to work. So I slept longer. We work at 10, so I slept until 9. Um, I mean, I made, maybe it, it was 9.30 sometimes. I woke up, put my clothes on, didn't shower. Then uh, I went to work and my boss basically already all about work, what we have to do. And I felt like, oh, I don't want to work. I feel, uh, you know, all those complaining came up. And this really made me, I, I started to go in a complaining mode. I, I went into a negative state where I didn't feel empowered. So this was the lesson because I almost lost my job with this attitude and a great opportunity, great friends. So I realized, hey, hey guy, hey Oliver, come on, wake up. I need to take responsibility again because I'm creating my reality and it starts in the morning. So it's really important. It does matter how you start your morning. So re listen carefully now, okay? So what I did is, okay, now I commit to my morning routine. I commit for as long as I have to because it's just for as long as I live because it's so empowering. Why shouldn't I do it if it empowers me so much? And if it disempowers me to not do it, why should I do that? It's self-sabotage, right? So I take now the responsibility and also the self-love to take time in the morning and empower myself. So, if you want to know what I'm doing, i let you know right now. You can create your own, own morning routine. I just want to let you know or to make you aware that the morning routine does matter. It's powerful. Because, you know, how you start your day. If you start your day with waking up in the morning, thinking about all the shit that happens in your life, all the things you don't want, you don't feel like, you don't feel like waking up. You don't feel like going out and creating something great. You, don't, you just feel bad. And it's you that created that. Don't put the responsibility to anyone. It's nobody, not your boss, not your friends, not your partner, not your dog, not your cat, whoever. Nobody did that to you. You are doing that in the morning. It's a conch. Maybe it's unconscious, but it's a choice. Yeah, maybe it's now unconscious for you. But now you, with watching this video, you get aware. Now it's conscious, okay? You make a choice in the morning how you wake up if you have empowering thoughts or disempowering thoughts. Yeah, I say it again. In the morning when you wake up, you make a choice if you think empowering thoughts or disempowering thoughts. It's your choice. Nobody else puts that on you. And no matter what happens in the outside, that doesn't really matter. You created the outside. Even if it's negative, you created that. And you can change it. But you need to change it here. You need to change it in the morning. Very important because in the morning you're fresh. You have energy. And if you start your morning with the right attitude, with the right thoughts, feelings, and the right energy, your day will look differently. And you get that different results. And if you do that over time, you really will feel so different. You will feel empowered. You will feel like you have a choice. You will, you will feel like you are a creator. You can, you can change your life. You can do something. It takes you back. It, it brings you back your power because you realize, I do have power. I can make choices. And it starts here. Okay? So, let's start. So my morning routine at the moment is I wake up, I 
drink water, very important because your body is not hydrated during the night. I go out, I jog, I listen to I listened to David Goggins, it was very motivating for me because I realized I got comfortable again and being comfortable doesn't really make you happy, it makes you just comfortable but nah, it, it didn't bring, it made me, it brought me to a victim mindset complaining because, because I was just too comfortable. So it brought me out of my comfortable space and made me, you know, also more motivated to do my morning routine and to go out of my comfort zone. Um, today I listened to Bob Proctor, which was amazing. It's exactly about the law of attraction. You know, going into a high frequency and then you also attract different things. It's it's amazing. And and choking, you you sweat, you release dopamine, you just feel better. The next thing I do is I go back. I'm I'm coming home, drink another glass of water, and go under the shower. And I shower cold. It makes me also. It makes me feel awake. It's out of my comfort zone, which, which makes me more awake and more ready for the day, for the challenges that are coming, and it just feels good for me. I don't need to force myself anymore. It just feels great. After cold showering, I go to my bed or my couch and I do I meditate. And I have different styles of meditation. Mostly I'm doing a silence meditation just with myself and concentrating on my breath. And going really to a space of silence where I feel just one, just one with myself. And my thoughts are just, they are just here, but I'm not attached to them. And they come and go in a, spa in a, in a space where I'm the, the soul. You know this saying of, you are the ocean, not the waves. And mostly we are acting as if you would be our the waves. So the thoughts, the feelings, everything that comes and goes are the waves. And the ocean is what always stays, which is constant. And that's your soul, that's energy, that's God, who, however you want to call it. And I, I'm connecting to this in the morning. And I'm also trying now to do a visual, visualization where I visualize uh, myself as being rich, wealthy, that I achieved everything, that I have a great, you know, basically that I achieved all my goals. And it makes me also feel great. So I did today because it's Sunday, I have a bit more time. I did this silence meditation plus this visual this visualization. And it took me like 60 minutes. After that, oh yeah, very important. Always when I enter meditation, I, I have this movement. Okay. And then I say all the things I'm grateful for. Sometimes there are three things, but most it's more, and I really feel the gratitude, really. I move my body, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so blissfully happy. I'm so grateful that I'm alive. So really that I feel the gratitude, and I do, I do that since, I don't know, a long time, and it really, it changed my life so much. Gratitude is so important, and it makes me just feel great. It makes me feel, oh, I, I just love it. Try it out for yourself. Gratitude is so important. Especially, you get more of what you focus on. So if you focus on, on all the things you can be grateful for, you get more things you can be grateful for. You know? You don't get more of what you need, or you know, of what you don't have. You get more of what you focus on. So if you focus on gratitude, on the things you have and like and love, you get more of them, okay? So, the meditation is done. And then I go and read. At the moment, The Magic of Thinking Big. I love this book, really. It, it reprograms your mind for thinking big, basically, as the book says, to think in a positive way, in an empowered way. It makes, it makes me ready for the day. So that's 20 minutes. Five minutes I'm, I'm writing. That's now very new to write down what I learned in the video while I was choking. You know, I'm listening. So I reflect on that. Five minutes, then 15 minutes book reading. And after that, um, after that, I can start my day. Then I can plan my day. Uh, Sunday now we, le we we at the moment I make the life book program from Mind Valley with John Butcher and his his wife. They are they are amazing, very motivating, and he's strong. You know, he's an artist, strong like me. Love that. So today we will do that, and that's also why I need to go now. My my girlfriend is waiting for me. I made now two videos because I feel great and I love you guys. So that's basically it. That's my morning routine. And again, again to wrap it up, 
it really does matter how you start your day because you take if you choose to start your day powerfully you take you basically take the power you take the choice of being powerful to be empowered and to be a creator and make positive changes in the in your in your life and it starts small steps at a time it really starts in the morning because it's the it's how you start and how you feel every day every morning over a period of time over a longer period of time makes a huge difference and the same if you feel if you start your day negative with negative emotion this also over times it adds up and you feel more down and down and down and down you never stay at the same point so really take the take your power back and start your morning powerful and you can take from whatever i do you take what you want take what benefits you you don't need to take this the same as i do that's just how i do it but i also develop this since a longer period of time if you're just starting out with morning routine i recommend you to do less less is more in the beginning basically so to do something that you think is now most most important for your life that benefits you the most for your life at the moment for your specific situation so it can be running and meditation for example oh yeah, i forgot to say i also train three times a week i'm i'm exercising so body bo- body weight exercise to also build my my muscles to to feel strong that's also important for me so this comes three times a week after the choking and if i don't choke i stretch a little bit and go then to to the cold shower so yeah that's it take for yourself what you think benefits for your life the rest just leave it throw it out let me know how this video if this video helps you uh, how you feel if you doing a morning routine or not what are your challenges in the morning the, your challenges in the morning routine let me know and let me know what you want to hear in the next video i'm really excited to hear more from you I love giving value. I love being here for you. I love to share my knowledge with you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really, I really appreciate appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening from wherever you're watching this video. This was me, Oliver, with a morning routine video. Morning routine is powerful. You know why now. So give me a thumbs up if you like that. I will see you in the next video. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I will bring you new amazing content. And also let me know what you want to hear. Because that makes it more interesting for you. And I have more fun. Because I know I do it for you. I do what you want to hear. And that makes it more fun for me. So I love you guys. Hear from you soon. Peace out.